and welcome to another episode of Wednesdays with WV. This is episode number seven. As always, I'd like to remind you that all the earlier episodes are available on the handles of Hindu on the Sports Star. And for those who prefer to listen to the conversations and the various other things that I talk about, you're always uh, welcome to log on to Buzzsprout for you to listen to this uh, fantastic conversations and uh, my views about other topics. What have I got for you on this episode? My guest on this episode was a swashbuckling batter, a World Cup winner, and he's had many influential roles in cricket. More than his accomplishments and his achievements, what has endeared him to everybody else is his warm and friendly disposition. It's my pleasure to present you Sandeep Patel, the one and only charismatic cricketer of the bygone era. Sandy, welcome to you. Thanks, W.V. First of all, uh, Durga Puja and Navratri greetings to you and to all our listeners. Thank you very much. And uh, it was interesting, looking back at your career, you made a terrific impact, but the span in terms of time is very short. That's a bit of a surprise to me because I thought you played longer than uh, the numbers show in terms of years. Your career in terms of test was four years and one day was six years. I'm sure you could have played a lot more international cricket. Short and sweet, uh, WV, always good. Always goes well with me. <laughs> no, but the fact was that, you know, I had the impression that uh, you obviously played uh, quite a lot. But those days, not many test matches were played in a year. That also contributed to this, wasn't it? Well, WV, first of all, uh, you know, I, I, I thank BCCI and... Uh, all the selectors for picking me, for giving me this chance. There are so many, you know, I know. There are so many, thousands of them. Uh, you know, they dream of uh, playing for their clubs first, then for the states, and then uh, for your country. I think I was fortunate that I got picked, that I got this chance. Very happy. No regrets, no complaints. Of course, knowing Sandy, there'll be no regrets. I'll come to that later. But uh, uh, the important thing was that your career and you as a person was obviously uh, defined more by the way you responded after the injury in Australia, wasn't it? Ah, uh, yeah, that was that was something uh, which I would like to forget. And why you are reminding me about that? <laughs> you know, what is specific over. about it was it is not easy uh, to make the kind of comeback you did after getting injured on a tour. And it didn't take too long. It was probably the same test match or the next test match. That was terrific. Well, modern day cricket, you know, uh, WV, you know, small injury, small niggle, and you go to NCA for rehab. Those days, uh, nothing of that sort uh, were there. And I thank Sunil Gauskar for uh, showing faith in me after that head injury. And the best thing he did was allowing me to bat in the second innings after that injury, which was after two days of that injury. I think uh, that change or maybe that, uh, you know, brought me back. To be very honest, uh, being a human, uh, I was uh, uh, damn scared. I didn't want to face, uh, and who? Dennis Lilly and company. But uh, thanks to Sunil, he, uh, there a lot of talk, there a lot of criticism uh, uh, on Sunil uh, asking me to come to bat in the second innings uh, when India had no chance of winning or even drawing. But he just wanted me to take the field and face Dennis Lilly. The two ball I faced, the first he bowled a bouncer, as expected. I was dropped by uh, Doug Walters in the third slip, four runs. Oh, wow. Everybody <laughs> was up in the stands. Second ball again, followed with another bouncer. I, you know, just jabbed and was out. And uh, I, I really don't know uh, what, uh, you know, uh, what to say. I personally felt that uh, I ran away, you know. Uh, I, I was scared. And that was not what uh, the Bombay boys uh, are famous for. And while going back uh, to the dressing room after getting out in the second innings, I was talking to myself, uh, this was not uh, what was expected. This was not what, uh, you know, I should have done. But again, Sunil was the one who not only clapped from the dressing room, he came to receive me at the boundary line and his words that you face the Dennis Lilly again. I think, you know, not many captains would do that. 
especially in the in the current uh, the modern day cricket but it was sunil who uh, took that decision and uh, it uh, appeared to be the uh, right one sunil gaskar was a lot more than a captain and a colleague to you wasn't he yes of course that big brother uh, uh, wv in our days there was no managers you know managers to be changed every match uh, there was no physio there was no uh, support staff uh, we had just one uh, uh, manager wing commander durani and assistant manager of course late bapu natkarni uh, otherwise captain was everything to you captain was a guide philosopher coach everything and what what captain said you had to just accept you don't raise a voice you there are no question marks there are no uh, questions asked if captain wanted you to do something you better do it and that's what we followed you came back made a swash buckling or knock of 160 odd how difficult was it after the injury for you to come to terms with the fact that uh, i need to go and bat there again psychologically how tough was it yeah, it was tough you know uh, of course uh, uh, now it's uh, many more years back what happened but i think the best best thing uh, what my father advised you know when i made a call after coming back to the hotel uh, uh, he said that uh, don't forget you are a shivaji park cricketer you are a bombay cricketer don't shy away don't run away i think that registered in my mind that you know come what may i will uh, not shy away which i did in the second innings after getting out uh, on four by defending uh, a bouncer from Dennis Lilly so i made up my mind i said ki let them bowl as many bounces i am going to not duck but i am going to go for it and uh, to uh, to my surprise uh, wv you know dennis lilly did not bowl a bouncer till i reached my 100 now not many people know that after the injury lenny pasco hit me on my uh, 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 left ear he had now he he had uh, come out uh, and has uh, uh, gone on record that he said that i will never ever bowl a bouncer again in his remaining test career and uh, now you'll be shocked that next two matches that i played adelaide when i scored 100 and melbourne where which we won uh, first time in australia he did not bowl a bouncer uh, dennis lilly also maybe you know how they uh, uh, try to play uh, on your mind that uh, maybe he was thinking that i was expecting bouncer every ball a bouncer so and i was expecting a bouncer but they did not bowl and it was a big surprise but that gave me time to settle down and as the luck would have it you know i got my runs i got all my shots and i don't know i i still don't believe that i have a 100 against dennis lilly uh, rodney hog and lenny pasco a bit later you also had another memorable knock against england where you really smashed bob willis all all the balls were hit for boundaries or what was it i was too young to remember ah no no it's it's no, <laughs> let's let's not uh, you know uh, uh, i must give credit to all the great fast bowlers i faced and particularly bob willis it so happened that uh, 1982 england series second test match at uh, old trafford uh i was going through a very very lean and bad patch uh, mainly because of my you know personal life and mind you uh, after first test uh, i was dropped gulam parkar was picked uh, i we lost that test match uh, and that evening i went to sunil and said uh, sunil i wanted to retire it did not happen that time even before that in 81 series when this problem started my personal problem started polly ubrigger was uh, chairman selection committee at chinna at your ground uh, playing against uh, england that series uh, i again went to selection committee and said that you know i'm I, i'm not uh, you know ready to play test cricket and i handed over a letter uh, you know saying that uh, i don't want to play uh, test cricket polly umrigar tore that letter in front of me sunil was sitting there and said ki no no don't worry we will give you time you you take your time when you are ready you let us know which was so nice which was so so uh, uh, you know great uh, for me and then uh, after few months uh, i got myself uh, back uh, on the on the road and then uh, 82 series uh, as i mentioned earlier that first test match uh, 
was bad. And I went to Sunil and Sunil said, all these years you worked hard, you dreamt of playing for India and now it's a chance. I'm giving you a chance. My average then, uh, remember uh, uh, WV, uh, in our days, it was not a 15 day tour or a 20 day tour. It used to be two months, three months tour. So there were enough county games before or after every test match. And all the county games that uh, happened during 82 tour, I averaged 4.5 only. And even after that average, a captain picks someone, someone like me, uh, give me a chance saying that, no, you have to take the field. You have to take the guard, which uh, I think very rare in uh, modern day cricket. But again, thanks to Sunil, uh, he gave me that chance. He took me out for a, a dinner uh, he had a nice word with me and he said that uh, Ashok Malhotra had failed. So he said, you are playing tomorrow and Ashok is not playing. And mind you, when Sunil announced the team, Rajbai was our manager. Not many people, I shouldn't be naming, not many people were happy with Sunil's decision. But, uh, well, it's, it's a history. I was lucky to get a hundred and also lucky to hit six fours of Bob Willis. One was a no ball. It was a seven ball over. And uh, you know that be it a gully cricket or whichever friendly games, you don't plan, plan uh, hitting every ball. And particularly when Bob Willis is bowling to you. I, I, but it just happened. Things do happen. And I think it was my day. It was, uh, I was lucky. And, and not knowing many people, WV know that I was out to Phil Edmonds' bat pad when I started mining. And there was... Cook, I think, uh, Jeff Cook or someone, England's uh, opening batsman, he took a catch, but no appeal from Phil Edmonds, no appeal from uh, the wicketkeeper, Bob Taylor, or no appeal from Cook. And I survived. So these, these things are very, very important in life. Not many people know this. Anyway, what people remember is that uh, fantastic, scintillating 100 you made. Now, it's too serious. Sandy means there has to be some you know, fun and laughter. I believe you had that bat with you. You showed everybody. This is the mark where I hit Lenny Pasco. This is the mark where I hit Bob Willis. Is it true or is it just made up? No, no, no. no. It is a uh, <laughs> made up story. <laughs> you, you don't do this. You, I know, in our era, uh, we don't. We never did this. Not you, not me, not, my, not our colleagues. You were perceived as a happy-go-lucky person. Was that really you or was that something that you put up to ease the pressure and uh, let go of the tension? Well, if you want to declare a Rami, if you have a joker in your pack, you know, it becomes easy. So I played <laughs> that role as a joker because, you know, I was like that from beginning of my career. Even today, you know, I like to mix around. I like to joke around. I like to, uh, you know, have a, a, a nice, happy uh, life, uh, which I you know, did during my playing days also. It didn't go well, if you ask me that, you know, I was not focused. I never had any goals. Whereas uh, Sunil Gavaskar, Mohindra Manath, Vishwanath, uh, Dilip Vengsarkar, uh, Kapil Dev, there's so many seniors. Uh, they played many more uh, test matches uh, and well-deserved. I played only 29 uh, test matches uh, and I blame myself because I was not serious. I was not focused. But you've done well. You made a huge impact. The tour of Pakistan towards the end of 82 was a tough one, wasn't it? Reverse swing was something that the entire world suddenly sat up and took notice, wasn't it? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, 82 and also 84, the uh, Pakistan tour, both any tour is tough, you know, whether you're playing at home, any series, uh, if I may say, you know, it's tough uh, in test cricket. Because what is test cricket? It's a test of your caliber, your test of your temperament, your test of everything. Uh, so uh, that tour was uh, very hard because uh, it was new. The reverse swing was new. And I remember uh, a Karachi test match, second test match, uh, uh, Imran uh, uh, got uh, Jimmy and Vishy out uh, on two balls. And I was to go next uh, to save the hat trick. And mind you, you know, those days there was no ICC code of conduct or ICC watching or, you know, whatever you say. Javid Mehandad, when I entered the ground, Javid Mehandad came to boundary line, escorted me from boundary line to the crease. And what he was talking, I had just signed the movie, Kabi Ajnabi The. What he was talking to me, 
how sledging is done you know you have to learn from javed mian he <laughs> did not abuse me he did not said a single bad word he was only praising me oh kya lagta hai yaar mela excel idhar camera lagaya hai udhar you know heroin khadi hai and all this nonsense he kept on telling i said i'm going to save the hat trick and this guy you know and what to complain what should i say to umpire or for for, for that matter anyone he was praising me and it happened till i took my guard he was still standing there at silly point and talking to me ए मेकअप खराब हो गया तेरा थोड़ा इधर मेकअप करना चाहिए करना चाहिए इमेजिन इज इट पॉसिबल इन टूडेज इन मॉडर्न डे क्रिकेट बट दैट वॉज दैट वॉज लाइक दैट एंड आई सर्वाइव यू नो दैट ओवर बट अगेन इमरान गॉट मी आउट बट दैट सीरीज वॉज टफ बिकॉज दे हैड डेवलप्ड दिज रिवर्स स्विंग एंड दैट कॉट अस यू नो एंटायर टीम वी कूड नॉट यू नो रीड दैट इवन स्विंग नॉट ओनली इमरान खान all the bowlers including sarfraz uh, tahir nakash all those were there in that team of course javed was a character and he remains so as well now the world cup obviously is something that everybody does not want to forget and rightfully so you played a great hand in the semi final with your dear old friend the late eshpal sharma yeah it was not only me you know if you look at the world cup all the games uh again uh, you know we had three practice games uh, one against counter uh, uh, minor county one against new zealand and one against sri lanka and uh, mind you we had lost all three games we had no hopes what chika our dear friend shrikan keeps saying that we were gone on a holiday that was rubbish uh, he mm-hmm. had planned a us trip after the uh, uh, 83 world cup that was also wrong only chika and uh, a wife uh, they were booked Uh, none of the other players were booked he kept he keeps telling me that you know entire team uh, was on a holiday you know when you uh, go for the world cup it's not a holiday you know it's a serious cricket but after losing these three games uh, kapil was you know brilliant uh, uh, as a captain he said that no mind we have nothing to lose you know we put our best foot forward and try our best let's see and it so happened that first game against west indies at old trafford we beat a fabulous inning by yashpal sharma uh and then again you mentioned uh, semi finals you know the if you see a run in that uh, uh world cup 83 everybody performed it was not one guy performing and others supporting every match there was a different hero different man of the match what i mean to say is we played as a team we we contributed as a team beat bowling beat fielding beat but don't 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 mention me as a fielder but uh, uh you know uh, everybody chipped in at the right time and the twist people say that kapil dev was 175 what there was the game changer of course it was it was one of the best one of the uh, uh, controlled uh, aggression inning i would say uh, and we were lucky to uh, saw uh, saw it because there was a industrial dispute there was no tv coverage after that inning of course uh, you know the cricket is all about belief uh, the self belief uh, uh, moral was high but zimbabwe beating australia you know that you know gave us a chance to qualify it was not only kapil's 175 not many people know zimbabwe beating australia that's why we qualified for the semi finals and of course semi finals again we had a bad start we we restricted india uh, england to i think 221 and sunil and chika opened the inning sunil got out uh, uh, early but they had a good partnership of 30 40 runs and then uh, the the foundation was laid by jimmy and yash you know credit should go to jimmy and late my our uh, friend yash they you know uh, build that foundation and then it was me kapil and kiri or Ro- anybody you know we just had to go and uh, maintain that run rate and it so happened that and mind you a uh, kapil had asked everybody to pad up and everybody to be ready but sunil's uh, advice to kapil in that don't panic let's go by the batting order which we have uh, decided so it was kirti was ready kapil himself he had just scored 175 he was in top form uh, kirti was you know struggling for runs i had few runs uh, before that game so and mind you you know uh, that uh, eve of that match you know this was old trafford Uh, it was 21st june i remember 22nd june was 
semi-final against England, 21st uh, June evening, my mother called and uh, she said that uh, all my life, I have never asked for a birthday gift. Tomorrow is my birthday. So I hope you give me something special. So that was playing in my mind. Again, morning of the match, we sat on the breakfast table. That was not much conversation happening because we were very serious. We were focused, you know, we were tense. And Sunil Gavaskar again came with a newspaper, Guardian, and he showed that see what is written, cake walk for England, you know, one-sided affair for England. That I think instigated, that uh, uh, didn't go well with all of us. And there I decided, you know, sorry to say, sorry to use this word, that Bob Willis or Bob Willis ka baap ho, Tordne wala ho. And precisely it happened. Again, my luck was uh, uh, with me. And uh, I was happy that I took India to finals, uh, scoring 50 uh, not out. It all can't be luck, Sandy. Now, Sandy, the cricketer, makes a foray into movies. How much did you enjoy that experience? Oh, terrific. Uh, the movie didn't do well, but the experience, see, my father uh, told me when I was uh, growing up that uh, life is short, enjoy it, but uh, make sure you know the limits. Uh, that's how you will see in my career, I've not only played cricket, I've done so many other roles also. I, I sang, uh, I uh, cut a disc, I did this movie, I was the editor of the magazine, I did commentary, I did so many uh, other things. And uh, I never had a goal. I said it uh, uh, earlier also. Uh, uh, where I felt that uh, the time was up, I took a decision. But film was also something which happened uh, suddenly. You know, I never ever imagined, never ever dreamt that I will do a film. Uh, one day, late Arvind Napte, if you know, our uh, ex-test uh, cricketer, Madhav Apte, late Madhav Apte's uh, younger brother, you. he came and met me at CCI. We were practicing, CCI team was practicing, and he said, uh, there's an offer uh, from uh, Vijay Singh Patwardhan. Uh, Vijay Singh Patwardhan happens to be uh, ex-Maharaja of uh, Sangli. His daughter is Bhagyashi Patwardhan, a very well-known face. Uh, so he introduced me to Vijay Singh Patwardhan, and he narrated the story. And I was excited. You know, any anybody, those days, only Sunil and uh, 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 Salim Durani had uh, acted in movies, and they had not done well. So I said, why not? So when I broke the news to my parents, uh, my mother was not happy. My father said, go ahead. And, and if you uh, can do it, uh, do it. It didn't go well with uh, my supporters, my fans also, because I remember those days, Vijay Merchant, late Vijay Merchant, the great Vijay Merchant, used to have his uh, show on the radio, Cricket with Vijay Merchant. And when I announced that I'm doing a film, he made a comment that Sandeep Patel, uh, has uh, joined the films uh, for money. And then my father, who knew Vijay Merchant, they were friends. He said that you have to clarify because then I took the receipt, the signing amount receipt to Vijay Bhai and showed him it was 101 rupees. And nice of uh, uh, late Vijay Bhai uh, that he clarified that in his next show that I'm sorry, you know, it was not different. I was going through a problem. I had a uh, uh, fracture in my right shoulder. So I was asked to rest. Many people thought that I opted out of West Indies because of the film. That is not the correct thing. I had acromion fracture on my right shoulder and I had to do surgery. So I had a good three months. So that was the real story. Yeah, gradually you realized um, you are not really going to make a comeback. And then your last hurrah as a player was helping MP become a force in Indian cricket, wasn't it? Yeah, again, uh, uh, you know, uh, I th thank my stars. Uh, that's also happened because when I retired in 86, 87 series, uh, I had made up my mind that that's it, enough. Uh, I was not uh, good enough to continue. I really don't know the real reasons behind it. But uh, one day it just, it struck me. Uh, it was a match against um, Ranji Trophy champions, which is Mumbai versus Australia. Steve Waugh uh, was there, all the great, uh, McDermott, uh, everybody was there, Dean Jones, late Dean Jones was there. And uh, there I scored 69, and I was playing table tennis with Sunil Gauskar that evening, and uh, late Chinnaswamy was the president. Pami was there, Sunil's wife, uh, Marshanil, he was, she was there, and she broke the news that uh, Sunil Gauskar and Sandeep Patil dropped and Riyas Punawala of Maharashtra and Alan Sippi of Mumbai were picked in our place. 
and that was a big shock to me shock to me not because i was dropped for lncp but shock to me for sunil getting dropped for rs punawala and sunil was also upset so sunil said let's continue playing cricket for uh, table tennis forget it after 15 minutes again the call came marshall said that no the decision has been reversed sunil gavaskar is picked but sandeep patel is dropped that's where i made up my mind and in that game only i uh, uh, instead of after getting out after scoring 68 odd runs i instead of coming to the pavilion i went to the press box and announced madhuras india let madhuras india was very upset our uh, manager then let uh, naren taman he was upset sunil was upset they all came rushing running and said that any nonsense is talking i said no i made up my mind and mind you i had not spoken with my parents i had not spoken with deepa my wife uh, but that's it you know and then there was a match in delhi film stars versus cricketers this happened in 86 after my retirement uh, some fundraising game and i was picked to play for film stars uh, 11 amitabh bachchan was our captain and their uh, indian team it was a 40 game 40 over affair their indian team scored something like 350 and when our turn came i opened with uh, late madhuras india ji and uh, uh, we had a partnership opening partnership of 106 and <laughs> wv his contribution was four runs i had scored a 100 in something like 10 overs not with the anger but it just happened and that evening madhuras india late madhuras india ji said that sandeep you have to come back and play if you don't want to play top cricket you have to come back and help the junior team and that's how it happened so again thanks to madhuraj you know he gave me this opportunity yeah it's great stories you know not many people are aware of many things that you revealed now you took up the role of um, the head coach of the indian team then then you moved out to kenya You had a great uh, passage there, didn't you? You guided them. To yeah, the I think the WB the mistake I made uh, with Indian team was uh, uh, I was too staunch, too strong, uh, too strict, uh, which didn't go well with the team. And again, I take blame for that. Uh, I didn't do a good job. But you learn, you know, you learn from your mistakes. So when I was removed uh, and Madhi was appoint- appointed. Uh, it gave me a chance to uh, think about it that i had decided to help uh, and uh, do something uh, in coaching i had done a fairly good job for madhya pradesh and then uh, after a debacle uh, with the indian team uh, kenya you know kenya cricket association they approached me and by then i was ready that you know working with established players and working with players who are trying to establish two different things of course so i failed as a as a coach with established players but here i had a chance and i had earlier experience with madhya pradesh team and the players who were trying to establish so i i you know did the same thing which i did with the mp team and it took us took a, a while you know it didn't happen overnight the best thing was we had four years to prepare ourselves between four years we played just six odis whereas all the other teams were playing 50 60 odis in a season but our goal was only to prepare ourselves for the 2003 world cup so we had enough time you know so it worked well and uh, 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 instead of uh, giving me credit i think the credit should go to the players because they gave their not 100% but 200% and i got all the backing from the kenya cricket association Let's fast forward. ICL started. You are a part of it. It was supposed to be a godsend for many first-class cricketers, but uh, one or two years into the venture, the venture went uh, off path, didn't it? I think a great, uh, great idea, great opportunity uh, for the the players who were not making in the first fourteen or in the probables, and uh, uh, I really. Uh, uh, thank uh, uh, the icl guys for coming out with the, uh, this idea and i think it it changed the thinking of bcci as well that point of time bcci also started thinking and our uh, 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 mr modi who was the chairman uh, of uh, of uh, uh, ipl then i think he came out with another brilliant idea supported by bcci and now you know what uh, what ipl is marvelous uh, you know 
platform, not only marvelous platform, but I think the best tournament after World Cup, uh, ICC World Cup. Yeah, you came out of ICL, then uh, for a bit of time, uh, you bided your time as well to see as to where you want to go. Then you were given the uh, operations head job at the NCA. Were you able to execute all that you planned? Yeah, surely. Yeah, so, as I said earlier, you know, you, you think about your wrongdoing, you think about the mistakes you have made, and you learn, you graduate. Uh, by that time, I was ready not to only tackle the youngsters, the under-19s and the women's cricket or uh, the seniors. They were all the seniors uh, used to come for their treatment, to, for rehab. The camps used to be there. But by then, I was ready. And I had a brilliant team. I had a brilliant team of Dinesh Nanavati, who was a batting coach. I had a brilliant uh, in uh, uh, Arun, or Arun, who was a bowling coach. Uh, uh, we had, uh, you know, Sridhar as a fielding coach. We had a lovely uh, physios, uh, uh, Patel and uh, Ashish Kaushik. So, see, captain is one and the team is another thing. If you have a good team, you can deliver uh, uh, great things. And again, it worked well. And again, I must thank BCCI for giving me that opportunity and backing not only me, but whatever we planned. You know, all our planning was uh, totally backed by BCCI. And then you moved on to become the selector. Uh, do you think uh, you could have done anything better as a selector? Because it's a very tough job. There's oh, no yeah. way you can get it right. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, that also, I never thought that I'll be a selector. One fine day, uh, Mr. Srinivasan, uh, after I was finishing my term as a uh, uh, NCA, as a director, he called me and said that uh, I want you to be a selector, chairman of selectors. I was really taken back. I was a shock. Uh, uh, I wouldn't say pleasant surprise, but that was a shock. I was not ready for the selection job because I never wanted to be selected. You know, you know, I was crossed with uh, uh, selectors many a times, and it's it's human. Every player, many gets dropped. He is not happy, whoever the selector is. So I said, why do this when I had done a good job with uh, NC as the director? Why again? Uh, you know, but uh, like I said, I like challenges and. Uh, my wife supported me. I said, yeah, another opportunity for you. And uh, again, there was a great team. Roger was there. Vikram Rathod was there. Hans was there. Sabha was there. So unless and until you have a good team, we had a good rapport. We had many arguments. We had many fights. But ultimately, we were thinking, we are talking about future of Indian cricket. I lost some, some good friends you know, during my tenure as a, a chief selector, which happens, which, which is part of the game. When you select someone, he becomes your fan. When you drop someone, you become an enemy to him. It's part and parcel of the game, which, which is absolutely acceptable. But I think we did a fairly good job. We took some bold decisions, good decisions. And I'm happy that Indian cricket uh, has flourished. Indian cricket uh, is doing very well. Talking of dropping and getting dropped, getting dropped for the Calcutta test against Gas team, did it come as a rude shock to you? Uh, I got dropped uh, against England, mind you, uh, w at uh, uh, Firosha Kotla. After scoring a hundred in last test match in Pakistan, and then scoring highest run in both the innings in second test match uh, at Firosha Kotla, I think uh, I was not expecting that. Uh, but it so happened that Kapil Dev also uh, was dropped, and maybe maybe they wanted to balance the. Issue, you know, how can we just drop Kapil Dev? So I was made a scapegoat, I must accept, but that's part of the game. You know, not many people get chance to play for India. I get, I got picked. I got chances when I was hit. I got chances where I was not doing well. And here, you know, I played a bad shot and I paid a big price for that. Uh, again, no complaints, no regrets, but uh, it didn't go well for a few days, not a few months. I was going to ask you, who was the collateral damage? You or Kapil there? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Kapil is a dear friend, a great cricketer. You know, you, you don't drop uh, players like Kapil there. You can no, drop Sandeep just, Patil. I was uh, just joking. Not that, you know, you are one who could be dropped, you know, at the drop of a hat. But uh, that was a very strange decision by what I thought was a great committee between 83 to 87, the selection committee. Yeah, surely. You know, they, they think about, see, we also dropped in our tenure, our selection committee dropped uh, Yuvraj Singh, uh, Virendra Sevag, uh, Sachin Tendulkar, uh, 
गौतम गंभीर और पेस बोलर बट यू नो यू यू टेक डिसीजंस नॉट बिकॉज दे योर फ्रेंड्स you take decisions it's your responsibility when you sit in that chair as a selector or a chief selector your thinking is about how team will do well how to build the team for the future you know and i think we took a right decision at the right time yeah that always happens uh, either way you are wrong or either way you are right depending on which lens you are seen through as a selector Uh, now you played all the roles that there are to be played you know for a cricketer you are looking at yet another role you are looking to contest the mca election how confident are you of pulling it off yeah it is not confident even i was also uh, a candidate uh, for president's post 3 years back but i was disqualified because of uh, conflict of interest uh, the loda commission loda commission uh, who had uh, mentioned and uh, it so happened that there was no conflict because if you are a bcci employee if you are a uh, you are on a salary from bcci then the conflict of interest comes i was doing a, a shows for abp news and star but uh, the election commissioner uh, then uh, was wrong and that's how again you know another opportunity all my well wishes all the fans uh, and my supporters in mumbai they wanted me to come back uh, and uh, try to do a good job which i am you know standing for the post uh, it's still the elections are allow- announced on 20th what will happen is another thing but uh, you know today what i am is of course because of mumbai cricket and if i can give back something even 1% back to the game and back to mumbai cricket i'll be very happy among all the roles that you had to execute over a period of time which was the toughest all roles were different i cannot pin point which was toughest uh, uh, the toughest is when you face fast bowlers when you play for <laughs> india uh, when you carry uh, you know expectations on the ground and fulfill those uh, expectations uh, that is i think the toughest part uh, in every cricketer's uh, career i would say okay you said that bad story was apocryphal it didn't happen now i know for a fact but the boys in kirkadi mentioned to me several <laughs> times several times that you you filmed kabhi ajnabi the for their benefit a lot of times in fact some of them said they picked up a bit of hindi because of that <laughs> <laughs> true because you followed me definitely you followed me and uh, gas logi also played i believe uh, after yeah, you yeah 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 so it was a good uh, it was a a great uh, experience for me playing first time i had of course played uh, in the middle middle six league uh, for edmonton for two years and then uh, kakadi i i will never forget what a beautiful place what a lovely people scottish of people of course the are. boys the boys were absolutely in love with you they would talk to me about sandy sandy every day when i went to the ground unfortunately that club doesn't exist anymore uh, i know, once, I know. Uh, so that's unfortunate now finally i want to ask you this how tough was it to coach chirag to play your role to ah, prepare him for the role <laughs> well when 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 chirag see every father wants his uh, uh, his sons to carry on uh, what your father did my wife was uh, more than me my wife was very keen and the fight is still on wv fight is still on because when i saw chirak first time i think he was in 7th or 8th standard in uh, uh, his school king george high school he came and said that uh, uh, baba i want to play cricket i said why not so i bought all the equipment for him and first day mind you wv first day living for the practice session the way he held the bat i said chirag you are not going to play cricket <laughs> he did try see w when you are a coach when you have you have played cricket at the highest level when you have seen the great players playing against and with you and i was a coach also for under 19 uh, india a indian team oman team uh, kenya team madhya pradesh team coach should know if a player if a boy has that you know that something special which 
registers in a coach's mind that he has something special. When my first, you know, uh, when I noticed that Chirag, and he thanks me today. My wife is still in fight with me that you coach pura dunya ko coaching kiya, apne bete ko coach nahi kar saka, useless coach. My <laughs> second son also, in fact, he also wanted to play cricket. He, he tried his hand in tennis also. But both today are very happy that I took that decision rather than promoting or pushing someone to play cricket. No, no, we have to play. We have seen three idiots movie. You know, it doesn't happen. It doesn't work well. A boy should do what he uh, uh, wants to do. He was too young to decide. But today, you know, he's very, very well settled down. He's uh, done a few films. Uh, he, he got a fabulous chance to work with Kabir Khan and uh, uh, Ranveer as uh, uh, Kapil Dev. So I think he should uh, thank his stars. Like I thank my stars for playing few games for India. He should thank his stars. And uh, he thanks me also for making that decision. One thing for sure, Sandy is a well brought up kid. I've interacted with him. Lovely guy, well mannered, very polite. And of course, um, uh, all, all credit goes to my wife, Deepa. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say that, Sandy. I didn't want to say that. <laughs> I wanted you to say that. Anyway, thanks a lot, Sandy. Thanks for your time. And uh, really grateful to you for accepting so readily and uh, being your normal self. And wish you all the very best for your upcoming election. Thanks, WV. Stay in touch. I will. Bye. Thank you. Bye. That was Sandeep Padil for you, as witty and as honest as always. I'll catch up with you another week's time. Until then, stay safe and take care.